In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the capabilities that the Session Smart router brings as part of the Mission First network. Specifically, I'm going to demonstrate how we can provide end to end performance aware session routing and then true separation of management, control, and data planes. So, the demo is going to have me presenting my screen, sharing my audio and video with Microsoft Teams. I'm going to be behind my Edge One router. This router has three different types of connectivity available to it, and then two next top routers, so Core South and Core North. Both of those routers have connectivity into the MPLS network, and then Core North has additional connectivity into the 4G as well as Starlink networks. From either of those routers, we'll then go out to our data center router, so a next hop, and from the data center router, we're gonna head out to the internet and then to the Microsoft Teams service. And we're going to be recording the screen and the perspective of the viewer on a second laptop so you can see what the impact is as we perform various different test scenarios. And to start out with, we have our conductor. That conductor orchestrates the policies that are placed on those routers. And specifically in this demo, we've put a service policy in place that tells the routers to prefer the MPLS type of network first, then Starlink, and then LTE. And then if they're up and available, those networks need to make an SLA of at least 75 milliseconds or less of latency. And so to start with, we've added some latency into the network from edge one to core north. And this is gonna cause our traffic to follow a specific path. In this case, based upon the policy, the traffic will exit the edge one router, then go through core south, out to the data center, and then to the public internet. And so as part of the test, what we'll do is we'll add some latency into the network to degrade the path from edge one to core south. The routers will then detect this and then based upon policy, react to it. So in this case, our session is gonna migrate from core south to core north across the Starlink connectivity. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll remove that latency degradation we've injected. And then we'll see the routers react to that and move the session back to the original intended transport. And to make this interesting, what we'll do is we're gonna turn off our orchestrator prior to conducting the demo. So that won't be put in place. And then we're also gonna reboot our edge router. So essentially it has to come back up and rejoin the network without any orchestration actually existing. And from there, we're gonna conduct our test. So let's begin. So I can see my edge one router. First one I wanna do is take a look at the sessions that are going through the router and just to see what our team's traffic is currently doing. So each session is assigned a globally unique session identifier that helps us I see exactly what it is, where it's going, where it came from. And so I'm going to take that session identifier and I can see right now it's coming in the land. It's going out the MPLS and I can take the same session identifier and I'll look at core north. So let's see if we have a session there and we don't, which is expected. And then I'll take a look at core south and we do have a session there. And finally, I'll look at the data center router. and key is that I have the same user interface the same APIs, the same reporting on each router locally as I do on the orchestration platform. So we're able to operate completely disconnected uh, as well as be able to still manage, maintain, and operate the routers. So what I'll go ahead and do is I will add some latency into the network. So I'm gonna go into Eve and edit the quality of the connection to core south. And I'm gonna inject the latency as we described. And so what we can see is latency has jumped up and so what's happening between the routers is they're going to be detecting the latency impact that I created. So they're using both active and passive monitoring, and they're going to detect that and they've already rerouted. So you can see the latency has dropped out of the network. And so what we'll see in a second is the statistics in the real time reporting will, uh, will update with that relevant information. So we can see our latencies jumped up and we are transitioning from one transport type to another. And so now what we're going to do is that last part of the test where I'm going to remove the latency from the network, so restore the path to its original state, and we'll see traffic revert to the original intended transport. And real quick, just to take a look, is our session on Core North? Yes, it is. There it is. So, and it's also still on Core uh, on the data center side as well. And so, I'm going to go ahead and reroute our traffic by removing that latency, and we've done that. And so what we'll see in a second is the latency will drop out of the network. And then what's gonna happen is our traffic is gonna transition back to the original intended transport. And so this happens all without the use of any tunnels. There's no tunnel handshaking, and there's no state that has to be in place on the routers for them to be able to take these sessions because we're able to do everything in real time using metadata and secure vector routing. 
And so in just a second, we'll see our traffic transition back, which is occurring now. And so this is exactly what you can experience in your own networks with secure vector routing.